Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about eloquent CRUD operation. The Laravel framework is packaged with eloquent object relational member ORM, which provides an extremely easy way to communicate with a database. It can be used to perform most database operation in your application and uh, works on all supported database system. Alright, before using the eloquent, make sure database configuration has been configured in your application and uh, if you don't know that how to configure database, then you can go to our channel and watch my previous video. Alright, now we have already configured database configuration in this application. So now I am able to use eloquent in our controller in our application. So now I am going to show you how can we perform the CRUD operation in Laravel using eloquent. So first of all, let's create the controller. So go to the command prompt and here just type php artisan make controller a space controller name let's say controller name is post controller now press enter now create a post model and also the migration so for creating that just type here php artisan make colon model the space model name which is post and for creating migration just type here dash m okay now press enter all right now post model and migration has been created so switch to the project and uh, here go to the created migration so just click on database then migration you can see here create post table migration okay so just open this and here in this migration just add few columns so just write here table data type a string and column name let's say title and one more column dollar table a string and here just pass the column name which is body All right now save the file now go to the post model so just click on app folder and inside the app you can see here the post model so just open this file and here just add the table name so just write here protected dollar table is equal to post okay now migrate the migration so switch to the command prompt and here just write php artisan migrate all right post table create post table migration has been migrated now go to the post controller so inside the project just click on app then http and uh, controllers then just open post controller okay inside this post, uh, post controller uh, now let's uh, create methods for create post get post uh, update post and delete post okay so start with create method so in inside this post controller first of all create a method so just write here public function and function name so i am just going to create a function for add post so I'll just write here add post and uh, just simply return the view and let's say view name is post add post all right 
now create this view inside the views folder so just go to the resources folder and inside the resources click on views and here just click on create a new file add post dot blade dot php all right now add your html5 boilerplate so type your exclamation sign and press tab button then change the title let's say add post all right now add the bootstrap for cdn so go to the browser and in url just type here get bootstrap.com and just click on get started and from here just copy the css just just click on copy and now post inside the header tag all right and co also copy this js file and just paste before closing body tag all right now here add first of flat section so just type here section inside the, in this section just uh, create a container so just type here dot container press tab now row and inside the row just create a column md6 and also set the offset so just write here offset md uh, let's say 3 now press tab and here just add the form so just write here form uh, method is equal to post and inside this form add the at the rate cs rf at the rate cs rf and now create the input uh, for the post title and text area just write here dot form group inside this form group just create a label label for the title and here just write here post title and after that input type is equal to text name is equal to title class form control and also add the placeholder let's say enter post title all right now add an, another control for the body so just write here form control sorry form group all right and inside this form group just create the label for for the body so just write here body and in caption just write here enter post body okay now create text area class form control and name body also add the rows let's say rows is 3 and close the text area also create the submit button so just write here input type is equal to submit value let's say add post
All right. Now save the file and now add the route for this. So go to the web.php file. Just click on routes folder. web.php and inside web.php just create another route route get get the uri is add post all right then controller name controller name is post controller so just write here post controller at the rate method name method name is add post okay now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and just write here localhost 8000 slash add post press enter you can see here uh, add post form okay Now switch to the post, contro uh, post controller and here create another function public function create post okay this is the function name and inside this function just pass here the parameter request dollar request okay and just inside this method first of all add here use app slash uh, post model so just write here post now inside this uh, this function just write here dollar post is equal to new post dollar post arrow Set the title so just write here title is equal to dollar request arrow title dollar post arrow body is equal to dollar request arrow body all right now call the save method so just type here arrow uh, dollar post arrow save all right and simply return the message return post has been created successfully all right now save the file now create their routes so go to the web.php file and here just create route method name post URI and let's say add post controller name post controller at the date method name so just copy this method create post and paste here okay Also, keep the name here. So just write here arrow name and name is post dot add. All right. Now save the file and go to the add post dot blade dot php and inside the form just add here action and inside this action just write here inside the double curly bracket route and route name which is post.add so just write here post.add all right now save the file and now let's create a post so go to the browser and here just refresh the page now enter the post title so let's say post first post title all right and here first post body 
now click on add post you can see here post has been created let's check so go to the php my admin so just write here localhost slash php my admin go to the database database is student db inside this database just click on post just click on browse and you can see here one post has been created first post title and first post body okay now insert another one so go to the add post and here another post title so let's say second post title and here second post body okay now let's click on add post post inserted let's refresh the table you can see here another post all right now let's see how we can uh, read the tables uh, table records so for that go to the post controller and here just create another function for the read read records read post so just write here public function function name let's say function name is read post all right and inside this method just write here dollar post is equal to post colon colon all and just return here view let's say view name is posts all right and also pass the this post so inside this array posts and arrow sign then write here dollar posts all right now create this view so go to the views folder inside the resources just right click new file posts.blade.php all right now go to the add post blade and just copy all the text and paste here all right now remove this form change the title let's say post details all right now inside h1 tag just write here sorry all post just create here a table so just write here table class name table table stripped all right inside this table just create the head and the r the h post title another heading post body all right and t body inside this t body just use for each so just write here at the rate for each and right here dollar post as dollar post okay in for each inside this for each just write here tr td one more td inside this td just write here print here the title so dollar post arrow title and here just print the body so dollar post post arrow body all right 
now save the file and uh, create a route for this so go to the web.php and here just create a route route method name git and here just write here post controller name post controller method name and delete method name method name is get post all right now save the file and let's check to so switch to the browser and here just write posts press enter you can see here all the posts okay now make this column 12 save the file and refresh the page all right now let's create another method for delete the post so switch to the post controller and uh, here just create another function public function let's say function name is delete post and here just pass the parameter id all right now post colon colon where id is equal to dollar id then call the delete method all right now return a message that the post is deleted successfully all right this delete method uh, delete the post which id is passed from here okay now create the route for this so just go to the web.php and here just write route let the method is a get and here uri delete dash post controller name the post controller at the rate method name so just go to the post controller and just copy this method and paste here delete post all right now save the file and go to the post.blade.php and here just create a link so just add here td and a tag enter tag href is equal to delete dash post and pass here inside the double curly bracket dollar post arrow id all right and just type here for the displaying delete post okay or only delete also add the heading action all right now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and just refresh the page you can see here delete button delete link so just click on this link all right 404 what is the problem so let's just inspect this element delete post to okay go to the web.php file okay 
here uh, just pass here the id this was the missing now save the file and go to the browser and just refresh the page now just click on delete you can see here post is deleted successfully now go to the php my admin and just refresh the table you can see here second post has been deleted okay all right now in last let's see how we can update a post using eloquent so for that switch to the post controller and here just create another method public function let's say function name is update post all right and just pass here the request dollar request okay and here dollar post is equal to post colon colon where id comma dollar request arrow id okay and call the first method and here dollar post arrow I'm sorry uh, hello dollar post arrow title is equal to dollar request arrow title dollar post arrow body and just to set the request body so this right here dollar request arrow body right and after that call the save method dollar post save all right and just return the message return post has been updated successfully all right or now save the file I'll create the route for this so go to the web.php file and here just write route get let's say uri is update post and pass the parameter which is sorry there is no need to parameter just write here controller name which is post controller add delete method name which is delete post all right also add the name here so just write here name post dot delete all right now save the file and now create a view for edit the post so go to the views folder and uh, here just click right click and then click on new file and here let's say edit post dot blade dot php okay inside this blade uh, dot php file uh, sorry edit post dot blade dot php file first of all just go to the add post dot blade dot php file and copy all the text and paste here now make some changes so just change the title edit post all right First of all, this is not delete, this is update. 
all right now go to the edit post.blade.php and here just is the route post dot update now save the file and also the in the text here date post all right and now go to the post controller and create one more method public function let's say update form and just simple return here for view which is edit post and also pass the parameter which is id all right and just write here dollar post is equal to post where id is equal to dollar id first okay and just pass here the this post so inside this item just pass here post and dollar post all right now create the route for this so go to the web.php and here just write here route get let's say URA is slash edit post controller name post controller and create method name method name is just copy this method name update form all right Now save the file and also pass the parameter here ID. All right, now here just write here value is equal to inside double curly bracket dollar post arrow title. Okay, and just copy this and paste inside the text area and change title with body all right now save the file now go to the post.blade.php file and here just create another action just, just right here Enter day href is equal to update dash post slash past here pass here post id so just write here dollar post arrow id okay and write here edit all right now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and here just write here post you can see here edit button so just click on edit all right update post edit post sorry post now just click on edit all right you can see here first post title first post body now let's try it here updated updated title 
and here updated body now click on update post post method is not supported ok just change here ok now save the file and go to the post again click on edit now just write here updated title and here updated body now click on update post right one thing is missing from here go to the post.blade.php uh, sorry edit post.blade.php and add here the id so just write here input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to id and value is equal to dollar post arrow id all right now save the file and try one more time so go to the post now click on edit just change the text let's say updated body updated now click on update post you can see here post has been updated successfully now check so go to the post you can see here post updated okay so in this way you can perform the crud operation using eloquent so that's all about eloquent crud operation so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching